Mama, 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 mini rants. A selfie is a casual photograph you take of yourself with your phone or with an obnoxiously large SLR camera. You can usually see an arm or another protruding limb awkwardly placed somewhere in the frame of the picture that makes you think nothing but, wow, does this person really not know anyone else that can take the picture for them? Our insufferable internet culture enjoys spreading this frivolously loathsome social networking quirk primarily because of the rise of websites like Snapchat and Instagram. And is yet another example from the abundant list of internet spawn circumstances where someone decided to take something as innocent and simple as taking a photograph of yourself and assigning it a nauseating title like swag or YOLO. After hearing me say this sentence, you have one of two choices. You can ignore all that I say and continue to use or partake in selfies and persevere your pursuit in becoming yet another thoughtless, daydreaming troglodyte 95% of our population consists of. Or, you can understand the errors in your ways and remove all the embarrassing evidence from the internet and attempt to appease your way abroad from the hive mind and perhaps even become your own identity, not dictated by meaningless, trivial internet customs. Or I guess you've never engaged in the act of selfies before, in which case you've got nothing to worry about. So I guess that was three options, actually. The problem is that there's no real advantage in taking a selfie. I'm already sick of saying the f***ing word. The quality of the pictures is nearly always terrible. You can almost 100% guarantee that the photograph has been heavily edited, so you might as well be looking at a portrait of Noddy. And it's hardly a complimenting way to capture an image of yourself unless you're some unrealistically gorgeous European beast like PewDiePie. I did briefly cover the idea of profile pictures and the like in my Facebook video a while ago, so go check that out for more hilarity or whatever form of enjoyment you get from my videos. But for now, I think this mini rant has gone on for long enough. F***ing hell. Mama, 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 mini rants. Sometimes you have to draw a line in the sand, or whatever sand-like substitute you have available, as to when you're tired of being called a f***ing imbecile. I'm of course talking about the way modern video game tutorials treat their players. I know when you design something you're supposed to treat your audience as if they know nothing, and that's fair enough within a certain extent. But our brains do work, you know. Most of us have played a f***ing video game before. We're not brain-dead creatures controlled by parasites that feast on bad tutorials. Or maybe some of us are, but at least 70% of us aren't. Even 2013's Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon has a fake tutorial that makes fun of how games hold your hand for far too long. But it was still a f***ing tutorial. But what is even worse than a bad forced tutorial is when a game flashes the control scheme onto a loading screen and expects you to just absorb all the information as if you're Rain Man. A well-designed game should teach you the basics naturally and gradually add things as it progresses. Just go and watch Egoraptor's sequel Lightus about Mega Man where he explains the whole situation much more succinctly than I ever could. m m m m m mini rants Depressing. Cold. Uncomfortable. Boring. Dull, piercing, bleak, disheartening, f**k winter, just f**k it. You know when you're sitting around asking someone random questions for a laugh, and you ask something along the lines of, where would you rather be forced to live for all eternity? Somewhere that is always super sunny, or somewhere that is constantly freezing and always snows? I would always go with the sunny nice place choice. I naturally associate winter with misery and traffic jams. Mostly traffic jams. Perhaps with a dash of general disorder and gloom popped in as well. Now as you probably know or can easily guess, I am currently situated in the UK, where I'm just particularly good at a British accent, you decide, where a whopping 10 degrees is considered warm. It is pretty much winter all year round here, and it sucks. I think our awful weather and permanent winter is part of why England is just generally quite melancholy. Everyone just wants to be inside and away from the cold, which leads us to becoming vitamin D deficient, which acts as a catalyst to us becoming pale freaks who do nothing but complain about things that ultimately don't matter. Oh. Wait. Hey, to any of you people living in a nice hot country, wanna swap? Or maybe you have a sofa you don't mind a skinny English bloke living on. Either will do. m m m m m m m and so finishes another entry into the epic mini rant saga. So please, tell me, what do you think? Are you a fan of selfies? Please tell me why, if you are. Do game tutorials drive you as crazy as they do me? And what are your feelings on that old bastard known as Winter? Make sure you tell me in the comments below. Remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter for all the latest IHE updates, as I hate everything, if you couldn't figure that out. And as always, thanks for watching. All comments and ratings are appreciated. I'll see you next time. Bye.
Many friends to